My name is Shannon Murray and I'm a board certified surgeon and my focus here at Littleton Equine is emergency surgery and medicine. I think what inspired me is I loved animals growing up. I just had a drawing to animals and I was eight years old when I went to my first day camp, an overnight camp in New Hampshire and I, we were given horses, so I was given a Shetland pony, a dapple gray, named Peekaboo, to watch. And so we had to feed and groom and do all their daily care, and Peekaboo decided to colic. So it was an effort to just start walking him and waiting for the veterinarian, and I just remember that truck coming up and just the, the relief that someone was there to help Peekaboo. And I think from that point, I realized that I could make a career of loving and helping animals. We are blessed with five fabulous pets. Uh, two cats, Ducati and Bristow, one dog, Leah, and two horses, Friendly, who's a thoroughbred, and Chance, who is a Palomino Tobiano. I went to veterinary school at UC Davis in California, and then I did an internship at Rudin Riddle uh, Equine Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. And following that, I went to The Ohio State uh, in Columbus, Ohio for my surgery residency. In the free time, I love exploring the mountains. I, any chance to get into the mountains, I love mountain biking, climbing, rock climbing specifically, uh, bouldering, hiking. I would love to go on The Amazing Race, the TV show. <laughs> Trying to think something great I can do that you don't know about. I know something that people don't know about in the Littleton and Colorado area is that I'm a Patriots fan. The nicest thing I would say is there is a gentleman, Mr. Christmas, uh, and the name definitely fits him. My grandfather passed when I was younger and I never knew Mr. Christmas. He was a good friend of my grandmother's and grandfather's and he took over writing me letters uh, while I was at college um, and staying in touch with me and just supporting and, and being there. And so when I went home to visit one Christmas, I requested that we meet and he gave me my first box of chocolates ever. He's a fabulous man um, and his just act not knowing me and not having to take on that role uh, of caring for me in the, the grandfather figure role was definitely an act of selflessness and, and kindness, and I will never forget that. One of my more memorable experiences uh, in veterinary medicine was a foal uh, who spent a lot of his early life in the clinic uh, where I, uh, I recently worked at. He initially came in at five weeks of age for a lameness issue. He was with us for a few weeks. Uh, with aggressive treatment, medical and surgical. Uh, he was then released to go home, only to come back a few weeks later, this time for colic. He recovered well from colic surgery, uh, didn't look back, but then he did decide to look back, come back um, a few weeks later for a second colic surgery. Um, and this tough kid recovered, went home, and this past Christmas, I received a Christmas card and he's standing there with a nice garland around his neck, uh, very healthy and, and, uh, and currently with his very loving home.